Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being me again today. Uh, even the Institute for the Study of War reports that the Russians are encircling Avdivka, and uh, their latest update give us some uh, details on what's going on over there. Of course, they will not say that the Russians uh, encircle it and it's all done. They will give us a hot one and they're going to give us a cold one, which is, uh, from their perspective, the cold one is, you know, the Russians are advancing, uh, but also, you know, the Ukrainians are also advancing on the same front. They just go like this. They just go in a circle. But let me show you this article. And I have two maps that actually three maps that will show us kind of what's going on over there. According to the Institute for the Study of War, a Washington based think tank uh, directed by a person who is the um, sister in law of Victoria Newland. <laughs> um, Go and check it out. Go and check out the names and the connections between her husband is um, Victoria Newland's. Uh, what do you call him? So the b both both brothers are married with Victoria Newland. Oh, look at this! Oh, isn't that beautiful? Victoria Newland and the director of the Institute for the Study of War. So, uh, if they say that Russia advanced five meters, probably they advanced five, fifty kilometers. I got to know that a long time ago. So let's see at least and uh, see what these guys are bubbling around here. Ukrainska Pravda. This is from Monday, today, the 18th of December, 2023. Russians advance near Stepovia. Ukrainian forces push east of Nevelskia, Institute for the Study of War. So here is the map of Avdivka, according to them. So Nevelskia is right here, where supposedly the Ukrainians are pushing back. And Stepovia is right here in the north. Oh, you come here? Okay. All right. Here. What's wrong with you? Hmm? you come here, you see that window open over there? Okay. It's watching outside. So in Stepovia, supposedly the Russians are advancing. And here in Nevelskia, the Ukrainians are advancing. And this is Avdivka, which I think is already done. So this is one map. Let me give you two more maps. One, not this one, could look like a map, but for some other reasons. And here is uh, where Ukraine front is. And we're going to go to Avdivka, which is right here somewhere. These guys are a little bit hard to, um, to pinpoint. Is this it? No, let me go to this one. This is easier right here. I'm going to go to the other one back. But this is the Russian map of Avdivka. And these guys did not update anything over there. You see the difference here? I mentioned this on many occasions. So here we got to Avdivka and he moved and doing what he does best here. Right, right. I put his little Adidas box here, but he's not going to use it. He likes it here because why? So here is Avdivka. They don't show us here what they are. Uh, are you going to go in? Good job. They don't show us here what the situation is in Avdivka, but uh, I have some more information on the Avdivka on a different, I don't like it there, in a different uh, article that I will uh, use for a different video. But let's go back to these guys. This is the Institute for the Study of War. I think it's accurate, even though, as I said, the Russians here did not update their little thing here. So let's read further. As Russian troops pushed offensive operations near the town of Avdivka and made minor gains near the village of Stepovia, on December 17th, Ukrainian forces counterattacked and advanced east of the settlement of Nevelskia. So uh, they're going to move in a circle. So the Russians are going to go around here and the Ukraine is going to come around, around here. So they're going to move like this and never going to meet one another. Yeah, right. Okay. Not impossible. He left. Elvis, le oh, Elvis has left the building. So let's see what else is here. This is according to Institute for the Study of War. Russian sources also claim that the Russian army troops pushed towards the settlement of Novokalinove, five kilometer nord northwest of Avdivka. Do we have it over there on the map? Right here. Oh, what is it? Northwest, Novobakhmutivka, I see here, 
but I don't see the Novo Cabo Cien yet Jupujo, probably north of this. They don't have a map further down here. They do right here. They're talking about this area right here. So they're trying to go around north and northwest and go around like this. All right, let's see what does this, guys. And near the town of Krasnohorivka, three kilometers northeast of Avdivka. Let's see what Krasnohorivka is, whatever. Well, right here, Krasnohorivka. So they try to push in the north of Avdivka and move towards west. That's what happens over here. And a near town of Krasnohorivka, the Avdivka Coke and Chemical Plant, northwest of Avdivka and industrial area southeast of Avdivka on 16 and 17th of December. Basically, the circle month, and they push forward. Russian military bloggers claimed that Russian troops had entered the outskirts of Avdivka, although the Institute for the Study of War has not seen any visual evidence of these allegations. Allegation. At the same time, the Ukrainian general staff reported on September Dece December 17th that Ukraine forces have repelled at least 17 Russian attacks east of the village of Novobakhmutivka. Uh, we saw that one, right? Right here, this is Novoka, right here. So this far away from the, the right, right there and this right there. But they're not going to go. We're not going to go either. They don't like us. We don't like them either. Okay, all right. And then uh, it says that 13 attacks, Russian attacks near the settlements of Pervomaiske, 11 kilometers south southwest of Avdivka and Nevelske. So this is right here. Basically, this the, the encirclement continues, even though they tell us about Nevelske here. Supposedly, this is the big deal of the Ukrainians. Uh, well, it's not over yet, even though I think it is over, but is the last uh, punches. A spokesperson for the Ukraine brigade operating near Avdivka stated, stated that Russian troops recently attempted on advance on Avdivka with a formation of up to 10 armored vehicles, adding that Ukrainian forces destroyed roughly 50% of the equipment. Well, I don't think the Russians will need to move into Avdivka. <laughs> All they need to do is just go around here and close it here. Once they close it here, the guys in Avdivka will have no more supplies and it will come out like they came in Mariupol, if you remember uh, the big uh, Ukrainian success, let's call it this way. Remember this one at the beginning, and it was last year in Ma May, Ma Mariupol right here, when they it was the uh, Azov Stahl steel plant on, on, the, on the shores of the Azov Sea, Sea of Azov right here. Yeah, and then 2,600 people were taken prisoners. So the same thing will happen here, I suspect. I mean, I'm definitely 99%, let's put it, certain that's what's going to happen. At the same time, Russian sources claimed that the Russian occupying forces had captured the town of Marinka and extended their offensive to the west and southwest of Donetsk on September, on September 17 December. I had to make a combination between 17 and December, September. So they said this, but uh, Ukrainians said, no, you didn't. And the, the same uh, with the Institute of the Study of War. This is Marinka south here. This is Avdivka. So Marinka is south of, Ma of Avdivka. And this is where the Russians said they conquered it. Uh, the maps that I had yesterday and the day before, it was, there were what, what, two more streets to conquer from Marinka. And there were about 27 houses over there. I think that was done. Again, Marinka is not done, no confirmation. Besides, Ukrainian forces engaged in offensive actions in Kupiansk, Svatove, Kremnina, Kremina line on 17 of December. Geolocation footage released on that day indicated Ukrainian troops had recently advanced north of the settlement of Sinkivka. So this is, they talk about the Kupiansk. Kupiansk is uh, where the Russians actually will eventually advance right here. I mean, the Ukrainians evacuated villages right here. So these guys were advancing, the Russians were advancing, and now they say, oh, no, actually, Sinkovka right here, we are advancing. Let's see what the Russians say. This is from yesterday. Battle group Zapad successfully repelled all attacks by Ukrainian assault units using air-heavy flamethrower systems and artillery strikes. So it did. 
even the Russians reported yesterday that the uh, Ukrainians tried, tried, to, tried to advance. Now, if they did, that's up to these guys to lie to us nicely, right? At the same time, the Russians were pushing offensive operations north of the town of Bakhmut, but failed to make any progress. So the point here is the, in Avdivka sector, I think Avdivka is already 98% done, but they don't want to uh, retreat. They're going to make the same mistake they made in Mariupol, and then after they get uh, taken prisoners, they will claim that they uh, accomplished their mission. Of what? Inflicting some damage in the uh, a country that has a population of 145 million people? But anyway, uh, they know better, right? Correct, they're involved over there. From outside, things might look differently. And obviously, we are allowed to get our information from whomever. And um, we have to try to avoid being, um, how should I put it? I don't want to propagandize, uh, but it's, they lie, basically. And right now, you see Institute for the Study of Rule War tells you this. The Russians will tell you something else. The Ukrainians will tell you something else. Who tells the truth? Probably none of them, but... With time, with time, you find out, like right now they said about, they didn't um, uh, challenge that the Russians took over Marinka. In this article, which is from today, uh, two days ago, they Im immediately challenged it. So right now, we just, oh, they claim this. They didn't say it's not true. They say, oh, couldn't confirm. You know, uh, with, with time, they will give us, like, it's a given. We're just going to move off to move on to the next uh, hotspot they will pick to be the hotspot and then they will mention Avdivka like taken all right it's gone and we're not gonna say yeah Maringa or Avdivka fell I'm just gonna take it as nothing to talk about yeah it's a lot it's a lot if you look at these things you understand the dynamics of uh, how the media makes uh, news for us you know they inform us obviously it's a war but Institute for the Study of War should be you know neutral it's not Ukrainian, it's not Russian. It has certain people in charge which are related in a certain way with uh, certain Zelensky Steins, but I don't think that plays a role, does it? Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.